here at the Putin speech with Tucker Carlson as his willing intermediary in this lame interview, which was not an interview, but a dictator's one-man show. We can see on this nice occult wooden floor the octagon of the Knights Templars, who are defending the inner circle of power, also called the compass, from the square all around it. And the square and concept of four is the base of a pyramid, where the slaves of Pharaoh are, whereas the inner circle is the concept of three and side of the pyramid, all the way mounting to the top of the hierarchy of Pharaoh's pyramid, where the inner circle is on the top of the pyramid's hierarchy. So here you can see it, it's the octagon, there are eight things, and this is an octagon here. In the middle, there's an inner circle. And so the octagon, as usual, and I've shown you this many times, is protecting the inner circle in the middle here from the squares. And you, you can even see it's a pyramid, you know, with the four sides of a pyramid. You know, and the square is the, um, is the bottom of a pyramid. You know, they know what they're doing. Hey, now look at these demons. And this secret symbology of the octagon, square, and compass, our masters show basically everywhere, and which I've shown and explained to you many times already. As in this video here, where you can see the octagon here, the inner circle here, the octagon, military, police, and everything are protecting the inner circle from the square, which is us, the people. And I recently explained that to you in this video here on my channel, Homeland Security, The Swiss Bees, Home of the Devil, Part 14, Room 101. Well, here another new one in the movie Law Abiding Citizen from 2009, where they deliberately show the staircase of the Philadelphia Justice Department that apparently feels threatened by all the squares going in and out and needs the uniformed octagon to defend the judiciary inner circle. So it says the film Law Abiding Citizen and here is the octagon symbol. You can see here eight circles of the octagon defending the inner circle from all those annoying squares all around. I'd like to know what it says in the inner circle, which is quite impossible to distinguish on this simple screenshot. So you see there are eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight circles. They are protecting the inner circle, which is here, from all the squares you know, around it. You know, all these sort of slaves going in and out of the, um, the um, Justice Department of uh, Philadelphia. So the octagon is protecting the inner circle from the squares. Funny, huh? That we find the very same secret symbology both in Russia as in the USA. It must be the same people then, huh? Hey, Tucker Carson, you think you're such a smart guy, so why didn't you ask the Rusky about the secret symbols you both were blatantly sitting on, huh? Maybe it has to do with your charming red Kabbalah bracelets, huh, Tucker? Nothing in the open, folks. They're all hiding their secret orders and showing each other by all these secret symbols, both Tucker with his little red bracelet and Mad Vlad 
with his octagon floor. So here you can see about the red string in the Kabbalah. Here, here it is. The same thing as the Tucker boy was having. And the name Kabbalah, it's quite pharaonic. Ka is the soul when still alive. Ba is the soul when you die. And if you um, attach Allah, the god of the Middle East, you know, well, you get Kabbalah. You know, it's not a coincidence. And all these religions, you know, it's all about the soul, isn't it? So this girly here as well that, you know, always you can see that here, having the red string here. And many others, as you can. So, and apparently it's against bad luck. I oh, hear he says, Tucker Carlson, there he is. He's also. And apparently it's against demons. I'll tell you some more about it later on. About Putin's, his demons, and how this little string didn't really help very much. I was once attacked by demons at a demonic site of our masters. So I know by my own experience that demons exist, which you can see in this video here. So on this site here, where there's an, an old Roman temple where they did human sacrifices, I got attacked by demons in the night. So it's on the same channel. Here's the title. And I uploaded it. I went back filming this like six years ago. So here you can see the interview on the Tucker Carlson channel. Here's the title, and it's five days ago. So, and I can see very well that Mad Vlad has some real demons that help him to lie, act, and answer all the questions. Where obviously Tux, Kabbalah, Red, String, Bracelet, supposedly against demons, didn't help him very much because of Mad Vlad's overwhelmingly powerful demons. So even here you see the red string here on his hand and here as well, of course, together with all the octagons and inner circles and squares. And this guy is controlled opposition. Uh, he's one of them. So here it says Lily Putin. So from the Lily Puts, you know, the lying midget. So I call him Lily Putin from now on. And before the Ukraine war, he said, Putin, Putin he's, uh, Lily Putin, he said, we will not occupy Ukraine. So this is from the Russia Today themselves. You know. So, well, just remember how Lily Putin so blatantly lied about this Ukraine invasion. No, no, Russia is a peaceful country that will not invade the Ukraine. No, no, no. Russia is very peaceful, Mr. Lily put in. And here's some more information from before the uh, Russian invasion in the Ukraine. I mean, we all remember, don't you, how they lied, eh? It says, baseless accusations that Russia will invade Ukraine should not be made. That's what the Russian deputy foreign minister Sergei Vershinin, that's what he said. You, know, you can all look it up, you know. So I wrote here, Lily Putin's organized liars, once a liar, always a liar, you know. And this uh, controlled opposition, the tame talk, you know, with his nice little red uh, bracelet, he should have known, you know. Of course he knew, you know, he's part of the gang. It's the controlled opposition. Meanwhile, in 2021, 
while Lily Putin was telling all his lies, the US, NSA, they said, well, yes, they will invade. We can see them amass large amounts of troops at the border. It says, approximate positions as of November 29, 2021. Now, Russia massing troops on its border with Ukraine. I mean, this is history, people. You know, Lily Putin, he was lying. And he always lies. Hey, Mr. Lily Putin, once a liar, always a liar. So here I wrote Lily Putin's fantasy empire full of lies. And here, you know, this, uh, this was from January the 28th, 2022, just before the invasion. He even said then, still, uh, Vladimir Lily Putin, Mad Vlad Lily Putin, says Russia will not invade Ukraine, but sends warning to the West. Yeah, okay. Lily Putin's lies. So here you can read some more about it in Wikipedia, the prelude to the Russian invasion of Ukraine. Everything has been documented, people. So here you can read all about the the Russian and the Lily Putin lies. You know, they've been lying to the whole world. You know, it's all documented. We, I, I remember it, you know, it was everywhere, you know. They were talking about it in before the, already a year before the war. Like here it says, the senior U.S. Defense Department officials reported on May 2021, that's almost a year before the invasion, the Russian had only withdrawn a few thousand troops since the previous military buildup. Despite the withdrawal of several Russian units, vehicles and equipment were left in place, leading to fears that a redeployment might occur. The, official, the officials estimated over 80,000 Russian troops still remained at the Russo-Ukrainian border by early May. Members of the U.S. intelligence community began discussing the serious potential for a Russian invasion during the spring and fall of 2021, noting the massive continued deployment of military assets and logistics far beyond those used for standard exercises. And I remember it very clearly, you know, when they were all talking about it everywhere, you know. And um, here the lies continue, you know, uh, by, by uh, Lily Putin and the, um, and the Russians. So here it says, Putin denied any possibility of a Russian invasion of Ukraine, labeling the notions as alarmist, while simultaneously accusing NATO of undergoing unscheduled naval drills at the Black Sea. The, the guy has demons, people. He's a liar, you know. And he's a very good liar. He's very, the demons are helping him. You know, once a liar, always a liar. I don't like liars. I like facts. And these are facts. So you can all look it up yourself. It goes endlessly. It's full of Russian lies here. I mean, it was all over the media. Even the Russian media here, yeah, TAS. TAS, it means truth, apparently. And I, I remember them talking about this, you know. I mean, I don't like media, you know, but okay, we have to get an idea somehow, you know, what's going on in the world. You just, you just need to be critical, you know. Sometimes it gives, or many times it gives an idea generally what's going on. Like uh, Lily Putin saying, no, Russia will not invade the Ukraine. This is Al Jazeera, 
who, who are actually against the US and the, and the NATO and whatever. He also, ITV News, I don't know what that is, but, um, Mad Vlad Lily Putin says Russia will not invade Ukraine on YouTube. Why would put, Lily Putin won't invade Ukraine? Russia tell, uh, tells US it isn't planning to invade Ukraine. Lily Putin says military drills purely defensive. You know, and Sky News, I mean, they, they're quite critical, ain't they now, right? And um, Mad Vlad Lily Putin says Russia will not invade. Well, it goes on and it goes on. He just lied. You know? um, so sometimes you can read the, the media and the newspapers. I mean, we are far away, you know, so we have to read something, but just be critical. Yeah. I know there are a lot of lies, you know. And here's some more. You know, in articles, I mean, about how the Ruskies were amassing 100,000 troops or more, 190,000 troops. And, you know, and the Russians could read it, the Chinese could read it, the Arabs could read it. Here, 500,000 troops on the border. Well, this is a bit later, 2023. And, um, yep, yeah, 2021. You know, sometimes there is truth in the media, like this here. And the other one, I'll call Tame Tuck. What a useless interview. Tame talk, just let Lily Putin tell all his historic lies about the Ukraine and Russia. So here it says Lily Putin, this one here, and Tame Tok. There you go. This is Tame Tok with this little red string here. Uh, Tame Tok of the controlled opposition. Absolutely. So here you see the drunk Lily Putin with a glass of whatever and Lily Putin's vodka history lessons. And Lily Putin was even saying in the Tame Talk interview that the barbarians ransacked Rome because the barbarians had developed economically, which is utter vodka nonsense. On the contrary, the climate had changed in northern and eastern Europe. It had gotten colder. The Germanic tribes were hungry, desperate, pushed in the back by the Huns, and therefore clashed with Rome and finally ransacking Rome. So here it says Tame Tuck and Mad Vlad Lily put in. Tame Tuck because of his tame interview which wasn't an interview so please people do not believe any of the historical lies by mad vlad lily putin and his collaborator tame talk lily putin even dared to say that while americans are pragmatic the russians care more about moral values and while he was saying this same talk just smiled apathetically empty into the void. A Laurel and Hardy sketch couldn't have been better. It says, Tame Talk and Lily Putin. And all these pharaonic politicians are liars and actors anyway. Therefore, I was not surprised at all to see presidential actor. Barack Obama and his wife Michelle, or whatever she is, going to Hollywood producing the movie Leave the World Behind from 2023. So here you see from the beginning of the film, it says executive producers 
Barack and Michelle Obama. And as I had to fill up the image, I found this um, the inverse pyramid of death of a French telephone company. You know, they're all pharaohs. These are pharaohs. These are all pharaohs. And you see, it's at the same time, it is a pyramid, you know, in 3D with this part here where the shade is. But it's at the same time, if you only look at one side, it's the inverse Outwick concentration camp uh, triangle. So this should be, again, for the political prisoners in orange or red. It's all over, people. It was a good movie with good actors telling an end-time scenario with total chaos and the whole civilization breaking down. The movie could be a worldwide message for the coming Great Reset, about which Obama certainly has some inside information, which he gathered in Davos, Switzerland, meeting this man here, Klaus Schwab. It says the Great Reset, and here's that video, leave the world behind, you know, with all the animals going out and a total uh, chaos. And Obama, he went to Davos a couple of times where he met this guy. So, you know, it's all connected. What he's saying about the Great Reset and what they're showing in the video. Just as I told you about the, um, the Notre Dame um, fire, you know, which was, um, which was arson. I showed that in the video, and it was a message to the world. you find the video on my channel, Homeland Security. Always funny to hear that name of a man named after an army barracks, Barracks Obama. Maybe his mum met a U.S. GI in some third world country, so they called the kid Obama from the barracks. Barracks Obama. It says barracks Obama in the army barracks, you know, where he's doing his cinema and acting like he's a tough guy and all that, you know. So all these do the wars for these ones here. And he has a red tie for the, uh, the old world order, the royalists. And since we're back in the Hollywood movies, in the movie Law Abiding Citizen, it not only shows the octagon protecting the inner circle from the squares, but it also shows a whole forest of obelisks where people are getting murdered in the film because the obelisk is a death symbol related to the death of Osiris and used by our pharaonic masters as Pharaoh's symbol of domination. Our masters really love to show their obelisks and pyramids everywhere. Huh? Then, still in the same movie of law-abiding citizen, you know, meaning to be a good slave, yeah, a law-abiding citizen. It shows a brooch, which you can see here, with a demon looking back at the spectators, looking back at us, looking back at you. And finally, and still in the movie, law-abiding citizen, the seal of Philadelphia's district attorney with a circle for the compass and four squares sticking out for the concept of three and four, thus saying square and compass for all the initiated ones. So the circle with a compass, you can make a circle. And here are squares, you know, or oh, this is 90 degrees here too, and there are four of them. So it's the... The concept of four, which stands for the square, and this is the concept of three. And 
it also looks a bit like a uh, like the crosshairs you know if you go into the justice department you're like into the crosshairs of them eh? they can do whatever they want with you the very same symbol as the one from before and also concept of three and four square and circle four square and compass can be seen in the film lift from this year 2024 where the image is not at all relevant to the film as it is the case with all these symbols they are showing that have nothing to do with the story told in the film apparently the image shows a square and compass crossing in london and i wonder what the name of this particular crossing is so here you see the same you know it also says a swiss cross here you know we have the swiss re in london so this is the circle for the compass and here's a square so it says square and compass and here the concept of four and it's in black and white almost you know and there's probably a lot more to say this is also a bit weird these things here and this oh yeah okay i see it with these ones together with this these four it is octagon you know one two three four five six seven eight you know so oh yes okay you got the octagon yes it's the same thing you got the octagon defending the inner circle from the square you know there are two squares actually here that's amazing right eh? and if you're standing here you know uh, boots on the ground like you don't see anything you know you might be walking there for 20 years never seen i eh? so the london octagon square and compass was from the movie lift from this year 2024 and which you can see here to the left i imagine a londoner with his cockney accent seeing my video blimey mate lived here all me life and never seen it oh me right showing me first time in me life cobblers why are these mockney wankers hiding on the me kicks bloody daft geezers lagging it in the granite when well i haven't been talking like this in a while then in the movie the lost city of z from 2016 it shows the 101 sun hieroglyph representing the winged sun disk of horus for no obvious reason connected to the story other than to show this pharaonic symbol of her masters in an ancient house or castle so here you can see the film the lost city of z was produced by brad pitt living in france i went to the castle once video is on my channel gats of gats and here you see the sun hieroglyph you know it's one this is like a one o one and it it is the the winged sun disc of horus so here's the sun disc and here are the wings you can also see it with wings like the nazis had it the romans and whatever and whatnot just as the relentless exhibition in nearly every american movie of the biggest pharaonic obelisk in the world in america as we can see here in the movie the last full measure from 2019 and once more in the same movie called the last full measure and i've already shown you this in one of my videos that this layout here shows their story throughout time from egypt to the republic from the obelisk to the capital white house 
from the old world order, royalist vertical rule beginning in Egypt, to the perfect rule over humanity of the new world order, republican horizontal rule. So in this image here, what you can see here, it says from Egypt to America. So chronologically, their con conquest of humanity starts here in Egypt with the obelisk. It even says so, the vertical rule here. And then through time, maybe this is also plays a role here, like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, uh, octagon, eight lawns going to the, uh, um, to the Republic, their perfect rule. And this is the horizontal rule. So it, it, it just shows their, uh, how they, how they're ruling over humanity you know that i mean it's not by accident the whole layout you know with the obelisk here and this here well this is the symbol in america for the republic for america for the american republic this is the biggest symbol maybe the biggest symbol in the world and this thing here the symbol of the pharaonic domination is really the symbol you know of the death of Osiris and for Egypt and the vertical rule so they started you know ruling over humanity and infiltrating other peoples from out of Egypt and then they walked here you see the people walking here through the ages there are eight ages here octagon to their perfect rule, their new world order rule over humanity. And the new world order in America, which is just a new aristocratic symbol, no more vertical symbol of the feudal system, but a horizontal system of the Republic. And the new world order has been already in the US since 1776. So that's not something what all the religious people are waiting for when does it come now it's been there for 250 years in the us you know and in paris it shows the same from the obelisk at place de la concorde to the monument of the republic in france arc de triomphe where arc is from the greek word arcos meaning to rule. So, Arc de Triomphe, it says, the triumph of ruling in their perfect, horizontal, republican, new world order rule. And this is why France gave the statue of no liberty to America and the French Marquis de Lafayette exporting the French Revolution to America. Although the French nobility's revolution came only 13 years after the American one. 13 years, 13 Osiris body parts, and 13 stripes in the Knights Templar's colors, red and white. So the French Revolution was in 1789 and the american in 1776 there are 13 years difference and as i explained to you here in america it's exactly the same layout in paris it's a real obelisk by the way i went here once and filmed it and this is arc de triomphe it's really it's the monument for the french horizontal republic the same as the capital is the symbol in America for the Republic. So as it is in America, they're showing their conquest of humanity chronologically through time, from Egypt to America, from the old world order where it started, the vertical rule to the new world order. 
uh, uh, horizontal rule. And here's the same. It's showing that conquest over humanity from Egypt to the world's republic, the world's horizontal rule, the world government. Also, in the movie, the 355 from 2022, the same thing and showing the same road from Egypt to the Republic, from Egypt to America. And if you add 3 plus 5 plus 5, you get 13. As the obelisk, in fact, it stands for the number 13, if you want because Osiris was cut into 13 parts. So this here stands for the 13th body part. And finally, Swissy, in the US movie, The Net from 1995, saying the Swiss internet in French, l'internet suisse, bienvenue. So here you see it, Sandro Bullock, the net. And in the middle of the, an American movie, in English, and all of a sudden it says this here, you know, a Swiss flag. Here's a dot CH, which is Confederatia Helvetica, which is the internet code for Swaziland. And here it says in French, not in English or, or German, because most Swissies, they are German speakers. You know, no, it's in French. L'internet suisse, bienvenue. So, why in French? You should ask yourselves. Well, because Geneva is in the French-speaking part of Switzerland, where the notorious CERN is with the large Hadrian Collider and what not. And CERN invented the World Wide Web Internet in 1989. So that's why in an American movie, as you've seen before, it showed in French, l'internet suisse, you know. And this is, here you see their 666, you know, charming logo is a CERN, accelerating science you know if i move the uh, the cursor on it it starts you know it's accelerating so here it says the birth of the web the world wide web was invented by british scientist tim berners lee in 1989 while working at cern so here's the guy so this is the official website of, of CERN. And you punch in about and you can find it. You know. uh, I can scroll down and see if there's anything more. Well, it's like the same like in the in the movie this this year, you know? The old internet computer like stuff. And uh well, you can put it here in different languages, and here's some news, you know, and then um, you have to click here, the birth of the web. So the World Wide Web was invented by British scientist Tim Berners-Lee in 1989 while working at CERN. So that's why it said in French in the movie, because CERN here is in Geneva. Oh, and look at the logo. There's a square, and there's a lot of circles. So, you know, it says square and compass. You know, it's all over. He's got it written, you know, all over his face and in his ears, you know, square and compass. So, in all these movies, our masters transmit secret messages and secret symbols, thus communicating with each other and to their offspring in this brutal conspiracy against humanity out of Pharaoh's base, Switzerland. Hey, Swizzy.